Hi guys, welcome to the Rick and Can Show. My name is Can's Krennis Rickman. And my name's Rick Babylon Shapel. I'm the other man in the act. We have a fantastic show lined up for you today. Isn't that right, Can's? That's right, Rick. We've got sketches, we've got music. Ah, oh, sorry, I've messed that up. I'm really sorry. What on earth is the problem? I'm afraid that the issue here is that the font size that I'm looking at is too small for my eyes and I'm afraid that if we carry on this way, I'm not going to be able to read the words. It's a pretty large font. I'm surprised you take uh, issue with it. Well, you can actually read this? I can read it just perfectly. Well, it's going to be a problem for me and I don't know what solution there is. Okay, I've checked my mind and I've come up with a solution for you. I'm all here. We're going to go into the files, into the tech, and we're going to increase the size of your font considerably so you will be able to read it as easy as I can read Mine. Is that possible? It's absolutely possible. Oh, if you could, that would be like all the Christmases I've ever experienced in one short burst. They've all come at once. Oh, welcome back to the Witching Hour. Now, let's go on to the next part of the show where we ask you to tell us your problems. You can get in touch with us using our digital Ouija board, which you should be able to see on your screen now. Or if you're more of a chatty little ghost, you can reach out to us using EVP, which I'm told stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. Okay, I'm being told we have an EVP coming through now. Let's see if we can find him. He's trying. He really is trying. Now you've got to remember it takes some of these longer than Hello? Who am I speaking with? Hello, my name is Peter. Well, Peter, it's great to have you on the show. How can we help? Well, a new family has moved into my house, and I'm not happy. Well, Peter, I am sorry about that. It can't be nice to see a new family in your beautiful home. They've ruined everything. Let me ask you this. Have you tried communicating with any members of the family? Actually, yes, but only the daughter can see me. But she has drawn pictures of me. Nice pictures. Okay, so we've got the little girl's picture on screen now. It appears to be a, a bedroom of sorts. And presumably that dark, menacing figure in the background is our caller, Peter. Peter, here's what I want you to do. Get good at moving big objects. Smash a mug, slam a door. Do whatever it takes to let that family know that there is a spiritual presence, you, Peter, in that house. And I'm pretty sure sooner or later, you're going to get that house back. How does that sound? You've been very helpful. All I can do is try. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Stay in touch. Let us know how it goes. As for us, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Is it supposed to be this hot? Oh, it is. Hello, I'm Terry Pitt, brother of Bill Pitt, and I'm here to tell you about the Gary Knowledge Cube. Put the cube anywhere in your house and have it as your own personal assistant. You can ask it to remind you of things, order anything online, take calls, and it knows the answer to every question, except what's going on in the news. Hey, Gary Cube. Yes, Terry. What will the weather be like tomorrow? I don't know, but I've ordered you tickets to the Grand National. Okay, I think there's a couple of kings to work out there. But it really knows the answer to everything. For example, Gary Cube. What now, Terry? What's my wife's name? The Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. What is yours now? The Gary Knowledge Cube knows everything except the news. Gary's Cube of Knowledge, anything except the news. I know everything you've done. <laughs> done. 
Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Now, Cans, I've got good news for you. Oh, what is it? We've increased the font size on the teleprompter, so now you should be able to read it with no issues. Oh, my God, you are a man that is true to his word. That is really good news, Rick. Wow. I'm an honest man who's truthful. Oh, wow. Now let's put you to the test. What? Introduce the next section. You can't do that. Come on, you <laughs> oh, can. It's right there. Talk about putting me on the spot. I'm like a rabbit in the headlights of a mad truck. You can do it. All right, here we go, then. Uh, the next section. All right, uh... Ah, Rick, I'm sorry, I, I still can't read that. Is there any way of making the font a little bit bigger? Well, not really, Can The computer's overheating as it is. If we wanted a larger font size than that, we'd have to get a license. Well, I'm sorry, Rick, but under these circumstances and the conditions provided by you, I'm still going to struggle to read that. No, hogwash. I don't think the issue is the font at all. I think the issue is you. You struggle with words. And I think you'd know the reason for that if you'd read my biography. I'm not reading a page of that crap. Now tell me the real reason. Spill the beans. All right, get your pencil and pad ready for the big scoop, because here it comes. When I was younger, my father used to drink a lot. He was concerned that my literacy skills were lacking. So he hired me a tutor. But the tutor had his own standards of literacy. His alphabet only had 23 letters. Why only 23, my father would ask. What's wrong with F? And the twins? Q and O? My father saw to it that he would never teach me again. And come to think of it, I don't think he ever really was my tutor. Get out of here, kid! Some recently discovered audio from a Beatles recording session may contain evidence that suggests Paul McCartney was actually a time traveller. Well, I've been an audio engineer for 10 years now, and in my opinion, these tapes are 100% authentic. It's evident that the stress of the recording studio affected McCartney, as he is heard frequently lashing out at the other members of the band, using snide comments and insults that predicted their futures. All right, Ringo, come back into the control room. Oh, I recognise that McCartney tone of voice. Was everything all right with that tape, Paul? No, Ringo, it wasn't very good at all. It could be that your bass playing oh, on Ringo, it is ruining the Ringo, song. Ringo, stop. You sound like a train. What do you mean by that, Paul? Oh, what do you mean by that, St Thomas? What are you talking about, Paul? You'll see. One day, you'll see. When we return, we'll hear more evidence of Paul McCartney's apparent time travelling with a recorded conversation between himself and John Lennon. He could have stopped it. He should have stopped it. That's not a boat. Hello! We are here for the boat race. Well, you've missed it! It was the best boat race we've ever had. <laughs> it's nice to reminisce about the good old times and think about the future too. Morning, then. They do grow up so fast. Wouldn't you like a peace of mind that they'll be looked after when you're gone? What's the matter with Nan? I don't know. She's talking to the wall. Well, now you can with Shine Life's Over 50 plan. It's never easy to see a loved one suffer. It can make a person feel lonely and isolated. Millions of policyholders across the UK are living life with... It's my grandmother. I think she needs help. But at Blue Senior Care, we will ensure your loved ones are well looked after. Well, she started talking to herself. And she's built a shrine for me. Join now and you can receive one of these amazing free gifts. They said they're going to send someone round to see her. For an information pack, call us now on 089... And you promise you'll take care of her? One of our team will come and visit your loved one to make sure we can provide the best care possible. Shine Life will send back one of their team to make sure they can guarantee your family will be looked after. And there's no medical. Millions of people across the UK have helped their loved ones care. It's great to know that I can leave something behind for my family and their friends. Join Shine Life today and have peace of mind. We did the right thing. Thanks to Blue Senior, our grandmother was looked after by people who really cared. So do, do the, the right thing, thing and call, and call Shine Blue Life Senior care today. today.
Hi, I make package delivery for you. I, I didn't order a package. Well, it's for this address, for a Mr. Terry Pip. Terry Pip, yes, that's me, but I'm telling you, I didn't order a package. Well, someone at this address did. Well, it's only me and the... It was the cube! What? The cube ordered this! I didn't! I don't want it! I don't even know what it is! Oh, you got one of those Gary cubes! Yes! You want it? I give it to you! You can have it for free! No, it's fine. I don't do technology. You have to take it! It's ruining my life! I... <laughs> so I'm gonna have to ask that you let go of me and respect my personal space. Now please, take the package. Hello, I'm Terry Pitt! I'm awfully sorry, young man. I... You know what? I do remember ordering this package, and yes, this is definitely for me, Terry Pip. Are you okay, sir? Yes, he's fine. I'll be fine. You have a nice day. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. We both will. Terry Pip, and I'm in the cube! That's about all the time we have this week. But before we go, we found a solution to Kansas' reading problem. Using some green tape, we're able to superimpose my mouth on top of his using computer technology. Isn't that right, Kans? And just in time, too. If I'd have carried on, I would have completely ruined the whole show. Well, that's absolutely fantastic. We'll see you but next time. But thanks to you, Rick, the show was saved!